Ghislaine Maxwell's been caught, ladies and gentlemen. This is the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about it and what it could mean for the cabal. Well, 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 what strange times we live in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Ghislaine Maxwell has been caught up in New Hampshire. And um, the event happened after um, uh, the, uh, I think it was the district attorney of, of New York, Berman, a guy named Berman, a Jewish um, district attorney by the name of Berman, was replaced um, by Donald Trump. He'd been working to do that for a long time. And as soon as that happened, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell was arrested within about two weeks. Um, so obviously she was hiding out probably where Berman knew where she was. Of course, if you look up online, did Berman know about Ghislaine Maxwell? There are 20 or 30 sites telling you that Berman didn't know, which of course means he did. So, um, you know, uh, so he knew he was protecting her. Uh, Trump removed Berman and suddenly Ghislaine Maxwell uh, has been arrested. And also there was another weird event recently. Steve Bean decided to jump off, um, you know, his uh, apartment in Los Angeles. I don't know how, what, how many stories or was this, 20 or 30, to his death. So I think he obviously knew that the Ghislaine Maxwell arrest was coming. Obviously people in the elite in Hollywood are very, very nervous right now. So, um, you know, I mean, it's a very interesting stage of events because Ghislaine Maxwell was essentially uh, Jeffrey Epstein's partner in crime. And now obviously there's a big problem is, are they gonna be able to keep Ghislaine Maxwell alive? Apparently she's been sent to the same prison as the one Jeffrey Epstein was sent to, which is not a good sign at all. But you would think by now Donald Trump would have some kind of security um, of his own uh, in place to protect Ghislaine Maxwell. Because obviously if she can sing before the election in November, I think this will be a big um, proponent I'll, I'll put, sorry, a big component of what will make Donald Trump win. But first of all, I'd like to read you the list of people who are on um, the flight list for Jeffrey Epstein and uh, Ghislaine Maxwell can sing about a lot of these people. So just let me find that for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the list. So I won't read every single name on the list because that'll probably take all day, but it's a reasonably long list. Here's some of the names on the list. Let's have a quick look here. So we've got uh, Alec Baldwin. We've got, um, let's see here, Anthony Kiedis, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Barack Obama, Ben Affleck, Beyonce Knowles, Bill Clinton, of course, um, Hillary Clinton, uh, Bill Hammond, Bill Murray, Brian Affleck, Casey, uh, sorry, Karen Casey, Chasey Handler, Chelsea Handler, uh, Chris Wagner, Chrissy Teigen, Cindy Lopez, uh, Courtney Love, Dan Schneider, David Koch, um, Ed Tuttle, whoever the fuck that is, uh, Alan Spencer, um, let's see here, Glenn Dubin, he's someone quite famous who... Uh, Epstein uh, stayed at his place a lot, apparently. Gwendolyn Beck, Heather Mann, Henry Rosowski, whoever the hell that is. James Franco, James Gunn, Jean-Luc Brunel. He's a very important figure. He was a very close friend of Epstein, so they should try and get hold of Jean-Luc Brunel because he could sing like a bird as well. Um, uh, Epstein's brothers, Jim Carrey, John Cusack, um, Katy Perry, Kevin Spacey, of course, Kevin Spacey. Uh, Larry Summers, of course, who is uh, the owner of Harvard. Um, uh, he's one of the senior people at Harvard University, and then of course uh, there's a lot of nonsense to be going on at Harvard there in relation to the globalists. Lawrence Krauss, which is a scientist, um, Madonna, uh, Mark Epstein, his brother of course, Marshall Mathers, which is Eminem, uh, Oliver Sacks, who's dead, um, Oprah Winfrey, um, Paula Epstein, must be his sister, Quentin Tarantino, Ralph Allison, Ray Bazzani, Robert Le uh, Downey Jr., um, Seth Green, of course, who was added by Isaac Cappy. Um, Steven Spielberg, who again was uh, uh, outed by Isaac, sorry, Isaac Cappy, outed him and is dead now. Oh, God. Um, Tom Hanks, uh, Victor Salva, Will Farrell, uh, Will Smith, and of course, last but not least, Woody Allen. So that's just a short uh, list. There's a longer list online. Um, that's probably half the names that are on the list. So these are the people that Ghislaine Maxwell can sing about. And as you can see, I don't know what the collective were for those people, but uh, most of those people are, are multi-millionaires and there are a few billionaires in there as well. So um, yeah, you have half of Hollywood now wanting to kill Ghislaine Maxwell. And can Donald Trump predict her? And can she actually get to court where she can sing about these people? Apparently she wants to talk. Um, she wants to make good at least. Um, so uh, it would be great if she could do that. And uh, it would at least do something to help redeem for her, her uh, vast crimes with Jeffrey Epstein. But it's important to know about um, Ghislaine Maxwell. She was almost as guilty, if not 
as guilty as um, Jeffrey Epstein himself. Um, she was his pimp, basically. And as, as a woman, she, as a stylish woman, society woman, she was able to approach young girls and offer them like model contracts. And, you know, she would approach 13, 14 year olds and say, oh, come around to Jeffrey's house. And they would think, well, this, you know, some models do get into the industry at a young age. So this seemed quite legit to many young girls. And then, of course, they were taken to Jeffrey Epstein's place and then he assaulted them. And then Ghislaine assaulted them. She often took part in it as well. Um, so it's very dubious. And um, it's quite obvious these two are Mossad agents. Uh, Ghislaine Maxwell's father was Robert Maxwell, who was a Mossad agent who died under mysterious circumstances in 1992. And his entire fortune, which was involved in a kind of Bernie Madoff kind of, uh, you know, pyramid scheme and ripoff, and all the money he took vanished. It was something around the uh, vicinity of $300 million. And then suddenly um, Jeffrey Epstein had the wealth of $300 million. So it's been suspected that Ghislaine Maxwell took her father's money and gave it to Jeffrey Epstein. And in a sense, she was his enabler and, um, you know, handler, so to speak, for, for, for Mossad and uh, the Cabal. Another interesting fact is, of course, Alan Dershowitz, the famous lawyer who was, uh, you know, been involved in many, many cases over the years, you know, uh, particularly that famous one where he uh, tried to get that Nazi off a murder in the, uh, in the 80s that the, uh, there was a film about. So Alan Dershowitz uh, is, is, is guilty of sin in relation to Jeffrey Epstein. He used to hang around um, Jeffrey Epstein's uh, pool uh, in Miami, and he was like the pool boy, you know. So Jeffrey Epstein would be upstairs molesting underage girls, and then a few of them would come down kind of shattered afterwards and then um, Dershowitz would try and jump on top of them. He was like trying to uh, get scraps from the master's table. The guy is definitely guilty. So, you know, it's very complex this situation. You should definitely read this book I've got here by Bradley J. Edwards. It tells you all about it. And if people think that the only people involved in this are Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein, read this. There are about a hundred or two or three hundred people you could um, uh, basically indict uh, and uh, get on with things. So, you know, um, it's an extraordinary book. It's written by one of the major um, um, defense attorneys of the victims of Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. So it's highly recommended. I've nearly finished it. I've only got like about 20 pages to go. Highly recommended to you all. So um, that's it for the report for Tiger Mountain today. Thank you for listening.